Thank you for picking up Azon Affiliate Fitness Fanatics through my link. I have some special training today for you guys that is going to teach you about how to go about targeting the niches that are covered in this content package. There is also a second video that is available for you to watch. Now, the second video, you'll notice that it was recorded for a different niche content package than the fitness one that you have just purchased. However, all the training that is in that extra video that teaches you how to actually use the content that is within these packages, all of that training is still relevant to the fitness niche. So I still wanted to go ahead and provide you with that extra training in case you need it to teach you what to do with all of this content and videos, etc. The purpose of this particular video, however, is more about teaching you how to go about targeting the niche. In this particular content package, you have three different niches, abdominal trainers, heart rate monitors, and rowing machines. Now obviously these three products are in the fitness niche and you ultimately have a lot of competition in any one of these niches or pretty much anything fitness related. So the key here is really about taking one of these niches and breaking it down into some really specific areas that you can target. So you don't just want to target heart rate monitors as a niche. What I would really recommend to do instead is go and look at the heart rate monitors on Amazon. Read about them. Learn what they can do what their different uses might be. Go down and read the product description to learn a little bit about it. These things can be used for a variety of different purposes. They can be used for people that are looking to burn calories, people that are just looking to get more fit, or maybe even people that are looking to put on muscle mass. You have all of these different ranges of exercise that you can do. Really vigorous exercise compared with a much lighter exercise that is perhaps longer, something that is more geared towards giving you endurance rather than muscle strength. Well, all of these different scenarios can ultimately lead you to different ways that you can target these products. You don't just want to go after heart rate monitors in general, but instead think about what people are going to be using these products for and try to target one specific use and maybe even drill that down further into a specific demographic. You have men and women that obviously have different fitness needs and exercises that are going to go along with that. But on top of it, you have different age groups. Younger people are going to have different fitness requirements than older people. So you can again drill down any one of these particular niches even further by going after different uses and the different demographics, etc. Now, if you continue down through some of this information, you have this information here that talks to you about the different zones like I was talking to you about before. Low down, you're losing weight. Up high, you're maximizing performance. This is helping you to deliver um, muscle mass gain. And then improving overall fitness is somewhere 
in between. Now, you can also go through this information much more detailed, look at the reviews, and figure out what people are using them for. Some of these people will get into a lot of specifics about how they're using these products, and they might even tell you a little about themselves. And this can give you some really good ideas for targeting, again. Something else that I like to do is to go over to Google. On Google, you can do simple searches like uses for heart rate monitor. And you can then go and pull up different websites that are going to tell you about heart rate monitors and what they are used for. Now this is the brand name Polar for that product that I was looking at on Amazon not too long ago. This is that same chart, but it is actually more detailed here than it was on the Amazon website. It also gives you some additional information talking about calculating your heart rate. Subtract 220 minus your age to get your maximum heart rate. Now this, again, leads back to the targeting that I was talking about. The age groups here are going to be really, really important in terms of your targeting. Because once again, you have different uses for these products depending on how young or old you are, whether you're a male or female, and what your fitness goals may be. So applying that to the heart rate monitor niche, you could break that down into potentially 50 or 100 different sub-niches to target. And by doing this, you're going to avoid a large amount of the competition that's already out there and also new competition that will be generated from other customers of this niche content package going after these same niches and having the same access to all the content and videos, etc. that you have. So this is going to help to give you an added edge here that you can go after these niches with without having to essentially follow the status quo. Now the other thing I want to talk about is Google Keywords. Whenever you are trying to break down one of these sub-niches into something even more specific, you can go over to the Google Keyword Planner and do relating searches to find out what kind of popularity there is with those keywords. Now just to show you as a comparison, I have started with the term heart rate monitor. If you were just going after that niche in general, you have a lot of traffic that you can potentially access. These are really popular products. However, if you've ever tried to go after a search engine phrase with that much traffic, you likely know that it's simply not going to happen. There's too much competition out there already for that search term to really be able to get a foothold in that industry. However, if you then go and try to break that niche down and no longer target the heart rate monitor, but instead try to target some type of fitness use for the heart rate monitor combined with some type of demographic targeting to narrow that niche down a little bit. Then you can still promote the heart rate monitor because you will be targeting the niche that is interested in that kind of product but you're not directly going after the heart rate monitor anymore. So, just as an example, 
we could do something like cardio fitness for senior women. Let's see what this gives us. Now obviously we're not getting any direct monthly searches for this particular term. My goal is not to immediately come up with a term that way that's going to get a lot of traffic, even though it's possible to do so. But if you end up with something that has nothing like this, it's quite okay. Don't worry about it. What you can do, though, is then to scroll down and actually take a look at the different suggested keyword phrases that are going to be shown for you down here. So you have things like senior fitness, cardio workouts for women. These monthly search counts are much, much more reasonable to try to go after compared with the previous one that I was looking at just for heart rate monitors. Now obviously when you go after one of these more specific sub niches like this, you are going to have to do some extra work in terms of creating a useful site that is actually going to help people that are going to visit your website. So you would want to go out there and find some information that specifically pertains to the niche, the type of workout, and also the demographic that you are trying to target here and present that information on your website to try to help people. And then your idea here is to take these products like the heart rate monitors, the abdominal trainers, the rowing machines, and promote those as products that people are going to need for these different niches that you're trying to target. You can show people, for example, cardio workouts that they could do in their home without any kind of equipment. You may even be able to go out and pick up some YouTube videos that already exist out there that show people different kinds of workouts. And essentially train people on your own website for how to do these different kinds of workouts. And you can do that without a lot of work. And then over in the sidebar of every page of your site, have an ad for one of these heart rate monitors and promote it as being something that they can wear while they are doing all of these workouts to make sure that their fitness is actually landing in the range that is going to give them the benefits that they are looking for. Because without knowing that, it's kind of guesswork. You need to be a little more careful about exercise if you're trying to achieve specific goals. And typically when people are doing fitness and exercise and things of that nature, they do have very particular goals. Some people want to have nice abs. Some people want to look good in a bathing suit this summer. Some people want to lose weight after a pregnancy. Some people simply want to lose weight in general or just become more healthy. You know, you have all of these different potential goals that people are going for in this industry. So these are the real things that you want to try to go after on your websites. Pick one idea, pick one demographic, and center your entire website around that give people the best possible information that you can find on those subjects and then promote these relational Amazon products alongside of that information because these are products that they're going to need to help them out with what they're trying to do to achieve their goals. Doing it this way, you get a much, much more useful website You'll end up with a unique website that Google can actually recognize and give search engine rankings to. 
And not only that, but you're going to, once again, avoid a ton of competition this way and have a unique perspective on targeting these Amazon products that's going to be much different from the vast majority of people that end up picking up this particular fitness content package. So I hope you have learned something useful here today in this training. Again, there is a second training video that will teach you the basics about what you should do with the content that is included in this package, how to utilize that content on your website. And again, that video is not specifically for this fitness content package, but all of my recommendations for how to use the content included still remains the same. So I wanted to include that video because it can be useful for you if you have not used one of these content packages before. So again, I hope you have taken something useful away from this. Be sure to check out that second video. And thank you again for picking up Azon Affiliate Fitness through my affiliate link. Hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.